The Giant's Causeway, a miracle of nature and science, or a blunder by a giant who needed his clever wife to get him out of the mess he made. Here are the conflicting stories. The Giant's Causeway rises mysteriously from the coast of County Antrim and then sinks back into the sea heading towards Scotland. It's considered by many to be the eighth wonder of the world and attracts more than a million visitors a year making it the most popular tourist destination in Northern Ireland. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site, but surprisingly perhaps, visitors are free to walk along it as they wish. From a distance it may look like a solid road, but it's made up of thousands of interlocking hexagonal shaped columns of rock. Now, there are two very different theories as to how the causeway got there. One scientific, one the stuff of legend, so it's up to you to decide which to believe. Scientists say the Giant's Causeway was formed about 60 million years ago. There were a series of underwater volcanic eruptions which sent molten lava bursting through the seabed spreading across the bottom of the ocean. As the lava came into contact with the seawater it quickly cooled and solidified. The sudden cooling crystallized the rock and caused it to crack into the hexagonal shapes we see today. OK, so that's how science sees it, but local folklore has another, more fanciful, romantic explanation. According to legend, the causeway was built by the Irish giant Finn McCool. Finn was in the middle of a feud with a Scottish giant called Ben and Donna, who kept shouting insults at him across the sea. Having eventually had enough of the trash talk, Finn built the causeway and invited Ben and Donna to come to Ireland and fight him. But Finn was in for a shock when he saw Ben and Donna striding towards him. He was huge! Finn needed a way out. His wife Una came up with a solution to save her husband's skin and his reputation. She told him to dress as a baby and pretend to be asleep in a large cot. When Ben and Donna arrived at Finn's house, Una said her husband was out, but he was looking forward to the fight and would be back soon. In the meantime, she invited Ben and Donna in for tea and cake. She introduced him to her baby and the Scot started to get nervous. He thought to himself, if the baby is that big, what must the father be like? Una then put a stone in Ben and Donna's cake which chipped his tooth. The baby had no problem eating his cake as it had no stone in it. This made Ben and Donna ever more nervous. If the baby could bite through stone, what could the father do? Ben and Donna fled back to Scotland and ripped up the giant's causeway as he went, so there was no chance of Finn McCool following him. And that is exactly how it happened. On the other hand, getting back to the science, there are identical hexagonal columns from the same volcanic eruption across the sea at Fingal's Cave on the Scottish island of Staffa, and it's possible that this is what inspired the legend of the feuding giants. Well, Finn McCool is long since gone, but his name lives on in some of the rock formations. There's the Giant's Boot, for example. No wonder Ben and Donna ran away. The Giant's Organ, the perfect way to relax after a busy day tricking Scottish Giants. Then there's the Giant's Gate and the Chimney Stacks, plus many more you'll enjoy finding as you stroll along. The causeway has been a popular tourist attraction since the 1700s and is now owned and managed by the National Trust. It first came to worldwide attention when Dublin artist Susanna Drury painted award-winning watercolours in 1739. At that time the causeway was privately owned by a local aristocratic family. They were quick to spot its potential as a tourist attraction and started selling off bits of the rock as souvenirs. Business was so good they needed a roadway through the causeway to carry out the tons of rock needed to meet demand. Remember the giant's gate? Well that's not down to science or giants, it was man-made, with the help of a few sticks of dynamite. It now seems unthinkable to blast a hole through a World Heritage Site in that way, but those were different times. Thankfully the causeway is now cared for properly by the National Trust. For hundreds of years, the causeway has attracted not only tourists, but scientists and the rich and famous. Even now, glamorous models get up at dawn to have the place to themselves so they can get promotional shots. 
Others commune with nature, seeking peace and solitude in carefully constructed photos. The great 18th century literary figure and dictionary maker Dr Johnson wasn't too keen however. He famously said that the Giant's Causeway was worth seeing but not worth going to see because of its remote location. Well it seems a million people a year would disagree with that. But then it's a lot easier to get there nowadays. The well-worn path is still very steep but no problem you can always get a bus from the visitor centre. And you'll be perfectly safe. The causeway is now free of all battling giants. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, share or comment and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you'll be able to see our videos as soon as we post them.